All right, YouTube world. This is a 2003 R230 Mercedes-Benz SL500. This is the cheapest one in the United States, and I got it. And I'll eventually tell you what it's worth or what I traded for it. But uh, here it is. My objective moving forward is to go through quite a few of the things that need to be repaired on this and make this into a awesome weekend warrior slash daily driver in the summer. So with that being said, let's start with what's wrong. So I picked this up a week ago um, last Saturday and thank you to COVID-19, I've actually been sick all week. And so other than reversing it into my garage and bringing it home, that's all I've done. I haven't even got down to the tag office yet to get the plates in my name and take care of that. But that's okay because some of the issues that I had, I had to order parts for anyway. And uh, today, one of the important pieces to really bring this car back to what it should be arrived. But let me start by going over some of the obvious things and the things I know about with the car that aren't working. And then we'll see if we can't get at least one repair done today before I even get it down to the tag office. So first thing you see here is the cracked grill. I'm gonna need to buy a replacement. It looks like an OEM grill is in the neighborhood of three, $400. Uh, I can get some aftermarket bling type ones for $100, $150, $200. Um, another right off the bat noticeable thing here, I'll just cut straight to it, is this mirror here. I've actually already ordered a replacement glass, and when I say replacement, it doesn't actually replace it. What it does is it goes over that. You lose the auto dim feature, but you are able to see out of the rearview mirror. Another issue is the driver's side door panel. You can see it's dirty here, and then this doesn't seem to fully function. Looks like the spring's sticking out there. I don't want to mess with it too much, but we got the spring. Oh, there we go. Kind of popped out there in this panel, not uh, not closing the way it's supposed to. So I'll have to take a look at that and see if we can't, uh, can't get that repaired. Another issue this vehicle has is the SRS light is on, and I believe that's the passenger sensor in the, or sorry, the sensor in the passenger seat, but I have a code reader that should be able to read that and confirm that for us. Now, some of you may have already noticed, but the suspension is sagging in the front. Um, when you start the car and run it for about 10 seconds, it automatically lifts up, and I have not moved the car out of the garage since I got it to see if it's left me a um, puddle of oil, a puddle of um, hydraulic fluid, but uh, this is, you know, kind of come around here, give you that shot of the front. Now, the other thing, and one of the reasons that I got it at the price point I did was because the PSE pump, or the um, pneumatic something something pump uh, isn't working so the doors uh, when I go to lock the car they do not lock even though the car arms and they do not unlock and also the roof does not go up or down so the previous owner took out the pump and um, it's in pretty bad shape he did give it to me and that was one of the parts that I was able to order today or sorry order when I got the car and it arrived today. So we'll see if we can't get in there, get into this trunk and uh, swap that out. Okay, so we got the trunk open. Let me uh, move this out of the way. So here is the old PSE pump. And the owner, or the previous owner I should say, took it apart, but you can see up here, some of the tabs are broken. Apparently the pump inside was uh, busted. And when they went to remove this part uh, they somehow got the tabs there so the new part that i got in the mail goes in just over here this is the foamy piece that covers it uh, just under there so let's uh let's go unbox a new part and then we'll take this trunk apart and see if we can't get it installed and get the uh get the roof and the doors working all right so i've gotten it down this far um 
Yeah, it looks like this Mercedes has suffered from what just about every R230 suffers, and that is a leaky trunk. Uh, good news is it looks like we have a platinum AGM battery here. And 521. So not an old battery at all, which is great news. That's one less thing. But the PSE pump, I believe goes over here in this section section so let me see what I can come up with and see what we can what we can do let's see if I can open this one hand dude so. working on cars, we're not driving them. All right, let's start here. Mercedes Benz 0448. What does this one say? 0648. Oh. Well, that's one way to find out. Okay. Old one, new one. So, looks good there. This one has obviously been taken apart, missing some screws. This one is not. Let's see if we can't get it installed. All right, so I've moved the spare tire out. Got that out of the way and it looks like I've got four bolts here on the roof pump. I gotta take those out and move it out of the way. All right. So I've been able to lift it and hold it up out of the way with this strap here. For those wondering, the bolts were a 10 millimeter. There they are there. Uh, 10 millimeter socket. Got them loosened up and taken off. And now we go down here and this is where the PSE goes. So let me get okay, working on so this. So water has definitely gotten in there recently. The foam is wet. So before I do the install, I'm gonna take my heat gun here and try and dry out the foam. Uh, I live in North Georgia and actually the day that I picked the car up, we had snow and my garage at the time was occupied with another project and I had to leave this parked on the driveway right there for one night and it rained all that night and snowed a little bit that night too which is the reason the car is dirty <clears throat> and also why there's water in there so let me dry the foam out and we will install the PSE pump I got a little overzealous and I already put the box in and connected it. It was easy enough. Let me put these four nuts back on. Okay, back in. Let's put this. Down. Latched and latched. Let's go ahead and close the trunk. Make sure I got the key. I do. To get back in the trunk, I do. Let's, uh test a few things all right so I lock it and nothing happens I unlock it and nothing happens not a good sign but let's jump in and start her up and see <laughs> now Electronic consumer offline. All right, that might make some sense. Looks like the consumer battery is dead. I know that happened.
happens in these cars. So let's give it a bit of a charge. Uh, it's just taking it for a quick run, see if we can get that consumer battery charged up. If not, I'll put on the tender. Um, doing 30 miles an hour. Yay, school zone. So a little bit more about the car. Uh, as you can see, 163,000 miles on it. So it runs like a dream. Um, engine fires right up, very smooth, no squeaks, no noises. But as I said, some of the issues that we have are related to the suspension, uh, the PSC pump, which hopefully we're getting fixed now, some cosmetic stuff, and the SRS light. So I got this car for the equivalent of about $3,500. I made a trade for it, and the trade value of the vehicle I traded was $3,500. So this could turn out to be a lotto win or a money pit. We shall find out. Okay, so put the pump in, drove it, got it to work, didn't film the top going down the first time. Did have to play with the fuse in here. So from the left hand side, the third fuse from the left is the PSC pump fuse. I pulled it, put it back in, nothing happened. Pulled it, put it back in, nothing happened. And finally on the third time, I put it back in, but I only put it in about two thirds of the way and I could hear the pump going. So now we can put the top down. I can lock the doors. I can unlock the doors. And we have solved one of the problems. All right, so the other thing I got here, what I put I've got a good clay kit here. Got to clay this paint. You can feel it, kind of feels rough. And then also want to do the headlights. They're not horrible, but they're not great either. If you take a look at them, especially on the top parts up here, I think they've been restored, but they didn't do the, uh, the top part of the headlights, just the, the face. So very pleased. Got that working, accomplished something, yay. Um, the other thing I did notice pulling this out and doing the test drive, and I didn't take a picture of it either, but uh, with the suspension lowered, or there, there is a leak, I am seeing hydraulic fluid. In fact, when it was parked here in the snow, I believe that's it there. So that's, that's an immediate issue to be addressed. But otherwise, time to clean this mess up. Alright, and let's, uh, I haven't tested the trunk yet, so let's unlock it. And let's see if we can get the trunk to... And we can. That is brilliant and fantastic all at the same time. Alright, and that's what the car looks like with the tr top down and the trunk open. Perfect. Well, till the next time, and there will be a next time because there's a lot to do. Thank you, YouTube world. Talk to you later. And if you're wondering what I was sipping on. <laughs>